keke fun ha moku ni se ha lewe ya hike ba ni ba yi ni na le do nkan se to mo is something ni nya mi brother a che mi a ke si electricity e mo gbe ke do mo je me ni yo je fen fu e amen kwele moku moku nya fe nuku nke ah e wole e hia fu ke je je me ni ba wu fu fu ijo ye bia ni kete non pe di non ni e ne pe di non ni nu ni ri e mi ya ya ta ole ni je ja wole ke tu mu that was the sad story that befell the family of 23-year-old Yannick Ajeman. Civil society organizations like the Bureau of Public Safety joined the family of the deceased to blame the Electricity Company of Ghana for negligence leading to the death of the boy. According to the family, a day after the incident, personnel from ECG accepted the blame and commenced work on the electricity pole to avert further consequences. During the funeral, Relatives, family members, friends, colleagues, and sympathizers were all sober, reminiscing moments they shared before his demise. During the reading of tributes, almost everyone could not hold their tears. He virtually became my eyes. And you all agree with me that you get older. These are the things that you, you invest in your children. <laughs> Some of the relatives shared their fond memories with City News. It's, it's, it's a single life living. I don't see I and my brother were couples, but since we were waking up together every time until he departed, I've been waking up alone and it's not easy for me. But I can't see anything right now. All I see is that thanks be to God for everything that has happened. Meanwhile, the family stood by their demand for justice for Yannick Ajiman. He's dead and gone. But he died through someone's negligence and it's a pity that up to now, electricity hasn't even come to condone me. That is stupidity, I think. Are you saying that um, one month now you've not heard from management of the electricity company of Ghana? They came a day after the incident to ask permission to go and repair the fault. But then they went there and the boys drove them away and they didn't come back again. And that was all. Well, I seek justice for my son because he died through someone's negligence. So if justice will come in the form of compensation, so be it. The 23-year-old was said to be a very bright student. This was corroborated by comments from some of his basic school classmates. In our class, he was very good at science and IT. So normally when we have any struggles in IT or science, he was willing to help us. And anytime he sees you, he can shout your name even when you are far from him. And he will tell you, oh, Tina, you met fine and let's date then he will run away. So... He was, he, he was a helper. Family, friends and loved ones finally bade farewell to the late Yannick Hajiman. It's been a sight of mourning, grief and wailing by family, friends, sympathizers of Yannick Hajiman who died after he was electrocuted here at Taifa. You can see they're all waving and giving him their last respect, paying him their last respect. And this is to say goodbye to Yannick who was just 23 years. For City News, my name is Kweku Ediyama Ansa.